this is my um, 2023 KTM 350 EXC and I've just finished the build on this one and I've got the bike brand new as you know and I'll run through what I've actually done to this bike since I've got it one of the first things I did as soon as I got the bike home took the suspension out front and rear took it down to Grant Beal at Bike Tune and had the valving done front and rear and also put a bag into the rear shock um, to sort that all out didn't need to touch the springs because I'm light enough and the springs work fine for my weight and while that was getting done I also took the ECU out of it and uh, sent that up to Rexy at Fuel Talk had the um, tune put into my ECU for this bike to make it go like an absolute rocket like my last one did so this time I've gone for the uh, standard FMF instead of the titanium one. I've still got one sitting there for my rally bike. But um, this is significantly cheaper um, than the Thai one. So I went with that this time. Also uh, things like a, a bigger brake pedal. Because I always seem to keep missing it and slipping off and not hitting the brake at all. I also um, changed the standard frame protectors to longer ones because the standard ones were too short. Picked up a complete disc carrier and discard, so um, it's a whole unit I replaced, not just half of it. And obviously I've gone with the TMD Factory Edition 2 chain guard. I've got one of these on my rally bike as well and they are so strong. Um, changed the rear sprocket to just a gold aluminium one. I'm running a Renthal S3 chain which is um, rather expensive but um, go really really well. Change the chain sliders to something better which is also TMD stuff. So I've also gone with the Enduro Engineering bash plate yet again. This is probably about my 7th or 8th one on different bikes. Absolutely love them because they just, I think they give a lot more protection than the B&B ones. <laughs> so, um, I'll stick to that design. So the only modification I've done on this um, Enduro Engineering bash plate is up through here, it used to be a lot higher. So when you're changing the oil, you couldn't get the oil filter out without taking the plate off and that's a pain in the ass. So I've just cut that down and still tons of protection and using it like that. And obviously I'm running a discard just to protect the um, disc a little bit and keep shit off it. So um, they've always worked quite well. So I'm also running just a modest set of lights on this bike. Not like uh, big night racing lights, but you can definitely um, ride at night fast with these. Um, also I leave them on high beam on the tracks. So if anyone's coming the other way, hopefully they'll um, see me if I don't actually see them because I see that lights coming through the track also running um, a Cherbus uh, Bark Busters they're actually the ones off my um, last 350 so um, I love them so much I just took them off that also um, a Scott steering dampener that come off the last 350 as well I only ever really use that in super fast stuff or really really sandy that way it stops it from getting some shake and it works really well now I've also kept the factory edition um, billet triple clamps from my other 350 and put it onto this one. I actually didn't think there was any difference in the wheelbase, but I actually measured the wheelbase after putting them on. And the wheelbase was exactly two centimeters shorter using those triple clamps over the standard ones. And that really suits me fine. So um, it just makes it turn really sharp and um, she doesn't get skittish at high speeds, especially with a steering dampener, so um, uh, it just works really well. And you can flick the steering dampener up and down anyway really quick, so um, it works well. So the only other thing I've swapped out is I've taken out of my rally bike, I took the wheels. So these wheels have mooses in them, and I've just put the brand new ones away, and I'm gonna run these with mooses. Um, that way I won't be getting any flat tyres, not that I really do. And um, and that's about it for my build. So um, I think I've spent enough money building this one up. And I haven't even done a kilometre on it yet. And I've had it for like a month and a half. 
so I think it's about time I actually get out and run it in all right thanks for watching guys nah she sounds good she's ready to go